everybody. This is Iris Green with Military Home Base. I am sitting here with Sunny on the phone. Hi, Sunny. Holly, Tank, Hi. and we Hi. even have Nelly. Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to just take a moment to um, let everybody know that our very own wonderful Holly um, was made the top 18 for the Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year for 2019. We are so super proud of her. And um, Sunny nominated her. Um, you probably hear she's on the phone. She's on the phone because she's in California, California time. Plus, Sunny broke her arm and she's got to have surgery next week. And she said, yeah. please don't make me go live. So I love her. I said, okay, teleconference then because I need to tell you how much I love you. And, and there's a reason why you, you're, you're on the teleconference with me today. Right, Sunny? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I thought this would be a good time and Holly thought this would be a good time to kind of talk about what Armed Forces Insurance yeah. is as a company, uh, who they are as a company, and what the Military Spouse of the Year program really is and how it works. So Holly. I know I'm on the other foot today. <laughs> the Q&A. Yeah. Uh, Leslie, we're got Iris doing less. Uh, yeah, Iris. I'm not as good it's as the Iris and Military Home Base show today, <laughs> tonight instead of mimosas in the morning. So, Holly, tell us a little bit about the history yeah. of Armed Forces Insurance. Well, Armed Forces Insurance um, is a company that started in 1887. Like, I had um, no idea that they were that I old. I know, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. They've been around for a very long time. And they exist because of one purpose. They want to protect the people who protect our nation. That is why they're there. I think that's such a good like statement, right? That is. I mean, they're I protect never... people to protect our yeah, nation. Right? Yeah, I had never heard of armed forces insurance until the MSA program. No, and then so. I and I explained. Yeah, she, I try and explain. So when she was talking and she said she didn't really know, I'm like, let me, let me kind of explain the best way that Holly can explain. Right? Yeah, you, you, you get the job done. You get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> and so they um they've been around for you know basically 130 years and um. They um, have military, you know, renters insurance and home insurance and car insurance, and they're, they're doing what their mission says. They're protecting, you know, our, our service members. Yes, and so. so often we see in our Facebook groups that people are asking for advice on what insurance companies to yeah. go with. So, and hello, Armed Forces Insurance, insurance 130 yeah. years. And they're located in Fort Leavensworth. Leavenworth. Leavenworth. And um, my cousin, I know you're laughing at that, Sonny. Sunny's up. Sunny's one of them up northern people. I think we're entertaining her actually. <laughs> <laughs> but my cousin, whose husband was in the Navy, um, they retired actually there. Oh. They, they did. They did. They retired. I right there. She was a school teacher for the Dodd School System. She retired last year, um, and they stayed. They're, they they have stayed in that area. And Javier went to take classes um, like three years ago, and it snowed on me and like snow snow and luckily we had family which is a rarity so he loves my cousin Angie because she took care of him and went to Mexican restaurant gave him lots of margaritas sauce and I'll chips. help you get through the winter night I know right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's where they're located um and how they became part of the MSOI program they this year actually um it's they, they bought out the MSOI program was it 2018 you 2018 said. they bought they out the MSOI program. The MSOI, MSOI program and MSOI is an acronym for, for military spouse, spouse of, of the, the year. year yeah so it's, I think it's a mouthful right it's Arm a horses it's a long title <laughs> military spouse of the year and um how this all works is that they recognize they want to recognize the spouses who have I, I don't like to call it an award because really it's, it's not it's a recognition of what spouses are doing what they are contributing in their community we have entrepreneurs. We have we do. fantastic bloggers. We have spouses that are moving and shaking. I call them the Tinker Bells, like my boss here, who is an <laughs> entrepreneur. She doesn't just own one business. I'm trying to keep up with her. Um, spouses like Sunny. Sunny is an MSOI, and Sunny does so much in her um, community. She helps feed the homeless. She mm -hmm. volunteers for her command. Um, so, so many things, and they want to recognize it. So how they do that is they put it out there every year, and they ask for people who – I call it, I see you. I see what you're doing, and I want to recognize you. So that's, you get to nominate them. Um, this year, I, every year I nominate, and this year um, I nominated, and a couple of my spouses actually won. Um, one of my spouses that won is her name is Carrie. I have never met Carrie. She's a Pentagon spouse. But I saw her because um, another spouse brought it to my attention of what she was doing in her community up at the Pentagon area. 
And she won a nominator. So I, I looked to, to meet her. Yeah. But, I think but, it's important mm -hmm. to know that these are spouses celebrating other spouses. Yes. Every one of us contributes into our community in, mm -hmm. in a certain way. And, um, you know, it, it's always nice to have your, your peers recognize you. And right. so Holly. So Sunny mm -hmm. recognized me. Thank you, Sunny. I love you. And Iris both nominated me. I was not accepting my nomination. She wasn't. We wasn't. had a discussion about yeah. that. And it wasn't <laughs> it, anything particular, but the reason was it was because I nominated other spouses. So I don't feel like I should accept the nomination when you want to recognize other spouses. Um, however, I, I call it conspiracy because some of my spouses hear that I was trying to nominate and they kept on not accepting my nomination for here at McDeal. Um, and it's because they knew I was getting nominated, and they're like, "Nope, I'm not." That was my. They said it was other signs. So they backed off and said, "I'm not. I'm not accepting it." So don't wait, because next year I'll still <laughs> be nominating you because you are doing great things. Um, you laugh at that, Sunny? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess so, I will be. And um, so that's the first step. Then it goes through a voting, and that voting happened. It was like a four-day voting. Um, and I actually won McDeal. I was very surprised because I had two other spouses here. They're great spouses. They're doing wonderful things. What makes me any special is not. They're they're special in their own right, right? Everyone's special. special. Exactly. So um, I won. And then that went to the next process. And there's a panel and a board. And they um, picked the top 18. I think it was like 143, 46 something spouses overall who won for their bases. And then they picked the top 18. Top 18, that had to be a really, really hard decision for them know, to make right? that panel to go through. I don't want to be on that panel because that would be a hard panel to have to choose. That would be a really, really tough job. To I mean, so many spouses are so talented, mm -hmm. and many of, of the, every one of them was deserving of I making know. the top 18. So narrowing it down from that many spouses to just 18, kudos to the panel. Right. That was not an easy job, I'm <laughs> sure. Right, Sunny? <laughs> Do you want to be on that panel? That'd be hard. I mean, I would love it because, oh my gosh, you could read yes. all this about these fantastic people. But then you got to like yes. cut everything so what out. happens next? Okay, so on Friday, I was announced that I was in top 18. I have to say, that um, my boss babies didn't want to call me. I was standing, going into she my She wouldn't bathroom. look at the website. <laughs> she wouldn't look at the website. Why do you think I had a chance? So I'm like, I didn't look at it. Um, I'm going into the school because my daughter, um, Nellie. Hi, Nellie. You can see Nellie. This is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she had um, her father-daughter dance on Saturday. I'm on the PTA. So I needed to go in to help decorate. Um, after school, so I was going after school to decorate and um, I got the phone call from Iris and then Sunny's blowing up my phone and, and then I'm like okay I got to turn it off because I need to go focus I turned my phone off and I didn't see all the messages or anything else and I really didn't even look at it I, you know she told me but I'm like okay I don't know. so anyway when I open back everything up at four o'clock I'm like seeing really all the messages and really believing that I actually made the top 18 <laughs> I think Sonia and Sally want the puppy see, see the puppy <laughs> that's my tank I know I'm a grandma I had six Babies. Oh, I didn't have them, but <laughs> Stella <laughs> did. That's my Stella had six babies, <laughs> and so, so we decided to keep ten. Yeah. So that's step three. What yeah. happens now? Okay, so the next process is um, starting tomorrow, noon Central Time, until Tuesday, noon Central Time. You get to vote for your. Um, there's this top eighteen. So it's not just mm -hmm. me. You know, we're gonna post. We should post, right? Do we have to post? Yeah, the, yeah, the we have to post with post all the that. spouses. I mean, there's some really great spouses out there. Top 18. Um, yeah, uh, so we they, love our Holly. To <laughs> we're gonna say that. I know that, right, Sonny? I know you're gonna say that. However, yeah, in, I know, <laughs> but in reality, there are 18 really great spouses out there. Look at them. Look at their bios. Vote for them. You know, vote, vote, vote. You can vote from. Um, and you don't have to be military. No, you don't have to be military. It's open to, to absolutely everybody. everyone. Yep. Yep. We had to have references, and they've checked our bios. And from what I understand, because I've never been to this process, but from what I get, it goes to another panel. And um, then we find out March 1st if um, who is out of those top – there's three. They chose three mm -hmm. spouses from each service branch, and that's how they get the top 18. Yep. Um, and that's the Coast Guard, the National Guard, um, Marine Corps, yep. Navy. Yeah, and Army, you, Army, you of left Army for the last. And, and Army. <laughs> she's Army. You know I love my Army. I've girl been wearing your swag. You know I love you. <laughs> and so um, they they picked three, the top three, 
um, and that's who you're going to be voting with each other. Yeah. So, so voting mm -hmm. starts tomorrow. Um, just to wrap this up, I know we've kept yep. you quite late on a Sunday night, but voting starts tomorrow at yep. noon. It runs until noon um, Central Time. Important to remember, noon Central Time tomorrow. Don't worry, mm -hmm. we'll be posting some reminders. So we would love to have you vote. Of yeah. course, we would love to have you vote for Holly, but, but if you feel someone. so inclined to vote for someone else, that is totally mm -hmm. fine. Just get yeah. involved and um, please vote for our next Armed Forces just, Insurance yeah. Military Spouse. Right, and it's the branch winner, so you're voting for the, the yes. different branches this side. Yes, so there yeah. will be six mm -hmm. winners. Yeah, and I would like to say that um, some, some of our branch winners, like um, Alicia Ward, she worked in 2013. Um, she was an advocate for you know better employment. We have Lakeisha Cole in 2014, and she's she's like the magnet of entrepreneurship. Let me tell you, you want some fashion? She's she's your girl. She is going to make it happen. She has a shop there. Hey, I told her, why don't you get a shop here in Tampa? Um, and then Natasha Hart, who was her 2016, and she was advocacy for military spouses within her community for the homeless. She helped out in D.C. Um, and then Krista Simpson, that was our uh, Anderson, who was our Last year, right? um, so yeah. last year, she had this really great nonprofit, which I wanted to put her on our show. So we're going to say that because I think that she. From mm -hmm. Moses in the morning, yes. right? Yes, yeah, I need absolutely. to say that because I want her to explain this great work, um, nonprofit that she has. But that's just a few of them. I mean, and the program started, from what I understand, in 2008. And um, it was like a luncheon, and it's just carried on for every year from that. Yeah. And my last thing for you is I always have to stop on a quote. So by Maya Angelo, it said, a friend may be waiting behind a stranger's face. I think that's such a great thing for Ms. Well, Lloyd, it's right? true. It's true. So many it's, friends, yep. right? Yeah, I, I, I have so many girlfriends through, or I shouldn't even say that. I should say spouses because Brian won for, mm -hmm. you know, That's the right. Navy. And, you know, so kudos to Brian. And then we have this, our top 18 for um, this year's Navy again. And it's, uh, it's one of our Missoys. And this morning I was congratulating him. And he's actually now like my friend. And I'm so excited um, about that. But <laughs> he's a strange face, a stranger. And, and they're doing something in a community. We all have something in common. We're wanting a better community. And we're friends now. So, um, I'm leaving you on that. Go vote. And thank you for placing me in the top 18. We love you, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sunny, for nominating me. Yeah, I feel very honored, very honored to have such great friends and family. I'm blessed. All right, guys. So we'll post a reminder tomorrow to please vote. And until then, have a wonderful evening. Right.